In this lecture, we will learn about the evaluation of the prefix expression. The evaluation of the prefix expression is similar to the evaluation of the postfix expression. Please uh, go through my previous video wherein I have discussed about the postfix expressions evaluation. So the first step for the prefix evaluation is to reverse the given expression. So if I reverse this given expression, then let's say this is the expression. And if I reverse this expression, uh, first let us find, let's, let's check uh, how many operators we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. How many operators, operands are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So operators should be one less than uh, the number of operands if all the operands are the uh, binary operands. So, uh, sorry, all the operators are the binary operators. So let's reverse this expression. After reversing this expression, we get this 6, 2 plus 9, 3, 8, 7 plus multiplication minus and plus. So let's take all these symbols one by one. Let's say the last symbol of this expression is dollar. Now first symbol is 6 which is an operand so we will push it on the stack. Let's take an empty stack which is an operand stack. We first push 6 on this then we have 2. Let's push 2 on the op operand stack. Plus is an operator so we will pop the stack. First pop value is taken in A. So 2 is the first pop value. Next pop value is taken in B. So 6 is the next popped value. We will apply 2 plus 6 the value is 8 and we will push this value on the stack. Then I have 9 which is an operand so push it on the stack. 3 again is an operand push it on the stack. 8 is an operand push it on the stack. 7 is an operand push it on the stack. So the condition of the stack is 8 9 3 8 and 7 and then we have plus pop this stack twice first popped value is taken in symbol a which is 7 next popped value is taken in symbol b which is 8 so 7 plus 8 15 is the answer push 15 on the stack so on the stack we already had 8 9 3 let us push 15 on this so 8, 9, 3, 15 is the condition of the stack. Then I have multiplication sign. Let's pop the stack twice. First pop value is taken in A. Second pop value is taken in B. 15, 3 and then 15 multiplied with 3 which is 45. Push 45 on the stack. So 8, 9 and 45 is the condition of the stack. After this we have minus symbol. So let's pop the stack once again. First pop value is taken in A. So 45. Next pop value is taken in B. 9. 45 minus 9. The value is 36. Push this 36 on the stack. So 8 was already there on the stack. These two values have been popped. Let us push 36 on the stack. So condition of the stack is 8 and 36. Then I have a plus symbol pop the stack twice first pop value is taken in a so 36 is in a next pop value is taken in b 8 is in b and then apply 36 plus 8 which is 44 push this 34 on the stack now we have dollar which indicates that there are no more input so you can pop the stack and this pop value is 44. On the stack we have 44. So pop this value and this is the answer. So 44 is the answer. Let us discuss the algorithm for the same. If we uh, relook at the infix to postfix algorithm or let us write it fresh. Let us write it fresh. Let's say this algorithm is
prefix evaluation let's say a prefix expression is given as an input so let us first take a stack let's say the name of the stack is operand stack let's initialize this stack such that initially it contains no symbols and then by the time I have the inputs from the prefix expression while not end of input from prefix expression do so I'll take every sorry uh, at the very beginning I should uh, uh, reverse this expression also so the first step should be to reverse this prefix expression so reverse prefix expression so after uh, initializing this tag we will accept one input at a time in symbol variables so symbol is equals to next input character from prefix expression now I'll check if the symbol is an operator or operand. If symbol is an operand, uh, operand, then I will push this symbol on the stack. If symbol is an operand, then I'll push this symbol on the stack. On the operand stack, you will push symbol. Else means I'm assuming that in my expression there is there are only the operands and the operators. So if it is not an operand it is certainly an operator so if this is an operator we will pop two values from the stack first pop value is taken in a variable second pop value is taken in b variable then I'll apply the symbol which is an operator on a and b so value is equals to result of applying symbol which is an operator to A and B so whatever is the answer we will push this on the operand stack and we'll look for the next symbol so by the time we have the symbols this operation will continue let's suppose there are no more symbols now then you will pop the stack and you will return this pop value which is the evaluated answer of the given prefix expression thank you